Please welcome to Shami's kitchen. Today I'm going to make a falling in love recipe. So many. I know you guys will be very bored with fish gravy, fish curry, and fish fry. I don't know, don't be scared to do this. But this time I'm going to make salmon cakes, or you can call it fish cutter. It's not actually a cake with salmon on it, we're actually going to shape it like mini brownies. Okay, so let's start um, to see our ingredients and start making a yummy fish cutter. Now, to begin with, I have Mr. Salmon, which is called Salmon, and it's just called crushed pepper, garlic powder, salt, and for the first step, I'm going to get this brush and some oil and um, spread it around the fish. So let's, let's um, start doing that right now. The brush, dip it in the bowl, just get a little bit, not too much. Now just spread it around our fish. Now you get some garlic powder. And now I'm gonna add some crushed pepper. Last, the salt. Okay, now our only step is we have to put in our salmon in the oven for 450 degrees Fahrenheit and 10 minutes. You can, um, or you can just wait for your fish to cook well. Make sure not to burn it. Salmon in the oven. Close it up and we just have to wait for um, the salmon to get cooked. The salmon is still baking, so I'm gonna um, saute my onion in capsicum, butter. Next, add oil. Add the onion. Add the bell pepper. Saute it. Onion and bell pepper got well softened. Now it's time to turn off the stove. I'm going to check our salmon. Yep, our salmon is cooked and ready. Now just scramble the salmon with a fork. We have our salmon here, and we have our sauteed onion and capsicum. So we're going to add it to the salad. Alright, next I'm going to add breadcrumbs. So one fourth cup of breadcrumbs. Next we're going to add salt. Next we're going to add the mayo. Next, we're going to add garlic powder. We're going to add a generous amount of parsley flakes. And last is the egg, which I'm a little bit scared of, but I'm sure I can do it. This egg is real strong. Oops, a shell fell in there. Ta da! Alright, now it's time to crush our beautiful yolk. Got crushed turkey mix. The ginger crumbs, um, I mean, not ginger crumbs, the bread crumbs are all over. Um, you're just taking over the whole thing. I can't even see a salmon. Salmon, come up. There we go. But I can't see a lot of 
And where did our egg go? I can just see some jiggly things on it. I don't see the yolk. Not even one yellow part. Where are you, yolk? I think you got mixed up with all the ingredients. Oh yeah, I forgot to add pepper. I'm gonna go to pepper. She's back, she's back, or he's back. Great, add the pepper. Finally, and then using the pepper, it takes good muscles for it. Now it makes it again. I can hear the mayonnaise. Now it's time to fry our salmon mixture. But first I'm going to add butter and oil. I pour them both in one bowl. I'm going to add scoops of our salmon mixture. Okay, and now we to release it on the back. Now, we just have to wait for the fish to fry. Mm, my mouth is watering. Look, um, from the edges, the fish, the, it looks like oil is coming out from the side. Listen to that sizzling noise. This is making me very, very hungry. I know it. Whatever you guys are thinking this is me. This um, salmon will make you very hungry. Our salmon cakes are ready. Now our salmon cakes are ready. Yes, it's the final time I get to taste. Mmm. Mmm. The salmon cake tastes very delicious. This is one fall in love recipe. I know you guys will fall in love with it too. You guys, it's a must try recipe. You have no doubt if it does good or bad. It is awesome. You guys also try this recipe at home and yeah, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell button.